Hi students, in the last class I have discussed calculation of moment of inertia up to hollow sphere, right? Let us now continue solid sphere. Right. So now we have to calculate moment of inertia due to solid sphere So take a uniform solid sphere. So it's mass is m, radius is r. It is a solid sphere. Solid sphere. See how to start. So earlier we have discussed because of hollow sphere about diameter, its value is 2 by 3 mr square, right? Let us now use that result in this case because we can take solid sphere as a combination of hollow spheres, okay? Let us take, take a hollow sphere. Hollow sphere of radius small r, its thickness equal to dr. Its a thickness equal to dr. <coughs> this is now dr. Suppose its mass is a dm, then for that hollow sphere, moment of inertia will be its mass is a dm into r square, it is a 2 by 3, right? So we got 2 by 3 m r square, right? Now focus here, what is dm, okay? <clears throat> Coming to dm, since it is now solid sphere, we have to consider mass per unit volume, that is m upon 4 by 3 pi r cube, 4 by 3 pi r cube. That is mass per unit volume. Okay. Now volume of this part, see carefully, only this part, okay. Volume of this part, that is given by, that is given by 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square into dr. Okay. So this is giving us mass of that hollow sphere. Right. Let us now substitute this in this one and integrate. And integrate that is i equal to integration of 2 by 3 in the place of dm. First make calculation here. 4 pi 4 pi gets cancelled. Remaining is now 3m by r cube, 3m by r cube into r square, r square dr, right? r square dr. <coughs> that is now in the place of dm. <laughs> so we are having 2 by 3 dm into r square into r square. Like this, we have to consider all hollow spheres from r equal to 0 to it is up to capital R. Now, remaining just calculation, let us take constants outside. So, 3 and 3 gets cancelled. 2 m by r cube take outside. I equal to 2m by r cube taking outside. Remaining is now r square, r square, r power 4, r power 4 dr. It becomes r power 5. So after taking limits, it becomes r power 5 by 5. Okay. So it is now 2 by 5 
pm r square okay so for solid sphere about any diameter its moment of inertia is 2 by 5 m r right suppose we want to calculate about any tangent so if you are taking any tangent that will be parallel to diameter right if you are taking any tangent that will be parallel to diameter that means now we can use parallaxis theorem this is about diameter about tangent about tangent that is equal to about diameter plus m r square because between those two axes separation equal to r this is now 2 by 5 m r square 2 by 5 m r square plus m r square so 2 by 5 plus 1 7 by 5 7 by 5 m r square that is moment of inertia for solid sphere about any tangent so this is what we have to keep in mind 2 by 5 m r square and 7 by 5 m r square Okay, and see next one, it is halo code, right? See how to make calculation for halo code. So whenever we are calculating moment of inertia, we have to mention about which axis. Right, so this is now halo cone, and we are taking the axis passing through vertex and normal to normal to the base, passing through vertex and normal to base. Okay, so this is halo cone. Right. See how this can be taken. If you cut into slices like this, okay, parallel to base, if you are cutting, we get rings. So it is a combination of rings. And for each ring, this axis becomes passing through center and normal to plane of the ring. So for each ring, moment of inertia about this axis is its mass into R square. Okay. Let us see how to take elements. So from vertex, take at some distance x. Take at some distance x a ring like this. This is one ring. Okay. Or let me take a different color to make it clear. At some distance x, we are taking one ring. A ring like this and this is equal to dx okay that is now dx so for that ring moment of inertia about this axis is m r square its mass see how much its mass so di moment of inertia for that ring is equal to dm into r square okay right let us see now calculation of dm so dm equal to since it is now a hollow cone mass will be only on surface so we are taking here mass per unit area so m upon see so what is now surface area for a cone it is a pi r l right into surface area of the ring it is surface area of the ring that will be its a length is 2 pi r length is 2 pi r okay do one thing first before making this calculation if base radius equal to capital r okay suppose this is now smaller let us take this total height 
total height equal to h. Now see what we can write. So we can write here r by r is equal to r by r is equal to I can write here x by h. See carefully once. It is just like this is one smaller cone and this is now bigger cone. Okay. If you compare this two, this is now r, r by x, or you can say r by capla, r by capla is equal to x by h. Okay. From this, we get the value of small r. Right. Now we are going to use that result in this one. 2 pi r. Its radius is now r x by h r x by h 2 pi r okay next coming to here see we have taken now this part is dx i will draw separately to make it clear see how that shape is now This is now dx, right? But we have to focus now this length. Okay. Because when you cut into slices, we get a ring. And for that ring, edge is not vertical. For that ring, edge is not vertical. It is a slant. So I'm making separately once again here. Let me take this. So I'm taking now this part, okay? That part is now like this. So this is now dx. If this angle is a theta, this length will be dx by cos t. Okay. In the earlier calculation, we have taken 2 pi r into dr, right? Same thing, 2 pi r into its width is now dx by cos t. That is now d. Okay. Now seeing this, which we can cancel. Pi gets cancelled. R gets cancelled. Remaining is now 2m, 2m upon 2m upon L H. L H cos theta, L H cos theta into dx, right? Now substitute there. So I equal to integration of dm in the place of dm, 2m by L H cos theta. L H cos theta L H cos theta into dx in the place of R square in the place of R square what we can get it is again R x by H R x by H whole square let me cross check once what we have written here Pi pi gets cancel m two m by l h cos theta two m by l h cos theta. I think one x is left here. And x is left two m by l x dx right here. X is missing x. Okay. Now take constants outside. So in this relation between l and h. Relation to L and H is L equal to H by cos t. Right? Directly we can say that this is a H and this is L. So L equal to H by cos t. That means L cos theta. What is that? L cos theta is equal to H. Okay. 
I'm taking constants outside. 2m outside. R square outside. H square. And this also H square. H power 4 outside. See what else left. 2m taken outside. R square taken outside. This is H square. H square H power 4. X square and X. X cube. X cube. Integration of x cube dx, right? Now let's write one second here. X cube. X cube dx. This is now 2m r square upon h power 4 x cube dx. That is now limits 0 to h. It is h power 4 upon 4. And this two gets cancelled. It is equal to m r square by 2. Okay. So for a hollow cone, about its own axis, that means passing through vertex and normal to the base, it is m r square by 2. Okay. And let us see what is next one. It is solid cone. And see calculation for solid cone. Again, almost same calculation. So diagram. This is now cone. Axis passing through vertex. A normal to the base. Again, take elements at some height x. Take one disk. Since it is now solid cone, since it is now hard solid cone, if you cut into slices, then we are going to get it is a plates. Okay, so we are taking a plate at a distance x and thickness equal to dx. Okay, and we are knowing for a plate, this axis becomes passing through center of the plate and normal to plane of the plate. It is m r square by 2. So di. So di is equal to m. If radius is r, r square by 2. Okay. And see so what is a dm here? dm. dm equal to since it is now solid, mass is now in the entire volume. So we are taking mass per unit volume, m upon volume equal to one third pi r square h. It is one third pi r square h, one by three we come to here. Next. For this plate, volume equal to this thickness into area. Thickness is now dx. Area equal to pi r square. That is now dm. Okay. And same as the previous one, hollow cone, we can take r by capital R is equal to it is x by h. That we can substitute here and see calculation. See what we can write i equal to integration of di that is i'm taking one by two outside remaining dm in the place of dm in the place of dm see what we can write substituting those values 3m upon pi r square h dx by r square it is x r by h whole square that is now dm cross check means 3m by pi r square h dx pi in the place of r square this value that is dm into r square by 2 or i have taken token outside into r square into r square means so it becomes now r power 4 right into r square it becomes power 4 right 
see calculation pi and pi gets cancelled taking constants outside that is 3m upon 2 r square h h power 4 and h h power 5 next r power 4 r power 4 remaining is x power 4 dx x power 5 by 5 means h power 5 by 5 these two gets cancelled <coughs> r square r square is left here it is now 3m by or 3m r square upon 2 5 10 3m r square by 10 that is now moment of inertia for a solid cone right <clears throat>